Remember, we're speaking to a victim here, Yagami-san. If we had tried to make an appointment, she probably would have declined outright. Hmm. Not sure showing up unannounced is much better. <sighs> yes. There's no way around it. It's a risk we had to take. Well, here goes nothing. Yes? I'm Shirasaki from the Genda Law Office. The attorney for Mr. Akihiro Ehara. You may remember me from the hearings. Why are you here? Don't you know it's rude to show up at someone's door uninvited? I understand, but we have a pressing matter that directly concerns you. If we could do this another way, we would. I apologize for any inconvenience. I'm sorry, but the trial's over and done with. You know I can legally turn you away. You're right, but I'm only asking a moment of your time. Please, would you mind? I don't have time for this. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Wait, 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 before you do that. Sorry to butt in. I'm Yagami, a detective helping Sari here out. And? Mamiya-san. Scratch that. Yui. You have a charming voice, you know that? I'm sorry, what? See? You did it again. The way you talk, it's like satin and velvet. Any chance I could hear you say a few other things? Do you know how tempted I am to slam the door in your face right now? Oh, don't do that. Sorry. <laughs> that was a terrible strategy. Please, miss. Are you aware of the trending video that's leading people to believe Ahara committed murder? Thing is, the victim was confirmed to be alive in Yokohama until the morning of your own incident. And since Ahara was on the train with you, they're ruling him out as a murder suspect. So, what is it you're getting at? I'm just trying to ensure you're in the clear from any of that unfortunate business. If we could do this now, we'd never bother you again. All we need is 10 minutes of your time. How absurd. We're only trying to help. But if we could always come back another time. With our supervisor, of course. That visit would probably be more formal. There'd be paperwork, audio tapes, you know the drill. You'll want to clear your schedule. I really don't have time for any of that. No, I understand. And it's entirely our fault. We thought we'd do this casually, but we really should have been more by the book. But it is a murder case, so we do have to make sure our paperwork is in order here. Now, would you prefer to schedule a date to accommodate a more formal interview? Uh, you said ten minutes if we do it now, right? We'll make it as painless as possible. All right. Hold on. We really do appreciate it. Well, I'm impressed. I'm also not sure I should trust a word you say ever again. Really? <laughs> I... I'm joking. I do appreciate the help. Now let's not screw this up. This is likely the only convers- Hello! <laughs> Hi there. Hi. Again, we apologize for the intrusion. Let's just get this over with already. Okay, bye-bye. We'll make this quick. Thank you. 
Suspicious. Hmm. Suspicious. 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 <laughs> so, talk. I've already told the police and the court everything they could want to know about that mo I'm sorry to put you through this again. But would you mind going over those details? What else is left to discuss? I understand how pressured you might feel. I've gone over this so many times. I wonder if pressing charges was even worth it. No. What you did was both brave and inspirational. Many victims are afraid your voice might give them courage to find their own. Ironic. Hearing this from that predator's defense team. Well, perhaps. Would you mind walking us through that day from the beginning? It's nothing so mysterious. I was just on my way to work when some man grabbed my butt. That's all it was. Nothing else was out of the ordinary that day? Correct. Not to pry, but where is your husband today? Still at work? He usually doesn't get home until later. On that note, I have to feed my son, so let's get this wrapped up soon. We'll try our best to. Moving along. On that day, you and Ahara-san boarded the train bound for Ikebukuro, correct? Had you ever seen the man before then? No. A at least not that I can recall. Your lawyer friend here already knows everything I have to say. What do you gain by getting me to repeat things? That's the thing. Yagami-san here is a specialist. He can take whatever you repeat, analyze it, and draw up an entirely new conclusion. Right? Of course. That's exactly why I'm here. In the security footage as you stepped onto the train, it looks like Ahara-san stepped right behind you. Were you aware of his presence at this point? I was. It felt like someone kept pushing up against me with no sense of personal boundaries. I remember second-guessing myself at the time, thinking it was normal. Then the train took off while you were stuck in that situation. Yes. And then I felt the back of his hand against me. It kept getting worse from there. To the point where he went under my skirt. And the pig had the nerve to write it off as an accidental brush on a crowded train. But that kind of touch wasn't accidental. He even grabbed at me. Truly awful. And I do sympathize. I've also had to turn in an abuser like that. Personally speaking, some men can't wait to debase themselves at the first opportunity. Why would you say that and look at me? I just stood there, frozen. I couldn't see who was touching me. I had no idea what to do. I wanted to scream. But what if he just 
played it off. So I decided I would bear it till the next station. Are you okay, Mommy? I'm fine, sweetie. We're just having a bit of grown-up talk. Are you hungry? Uh-huh. Then go read your book and wait over there for Mommy. We're almost done. You said the abuse lasted the entire six minutes between Ikebukuro and Shinjuku Station. Did you see the Groper's face at any time during that span? No. I was too terrified to look. A and I thought, even if I did, he'd just pull away and escape. But just as the train was pulling into Shinjuku, I reached back and grabbed the hand on me. That's when I saw his face. Of course, he shook me off as the doors opened, but I'd already gotten a clear look at him. He must have known I could turn him in at that point. So he ran, and I chased after. Right. That was captured by the state. Great job tailing him in such a crowded space. On that note, did you ever happen to lose sight of Ahara-san while running? This cat was pretty easy to spot, and no one else was bolting off the platform like that, so I, I never lost sight of him. At that point, I could feel my voice returning, so I just screamed, that man grabbed me! I'm glad there were good Samaritans nearby. For sure. And there were a lot of smartphones out, so I figured there was no way for him to get away with it. I was so relieved. I see. I think I've got the gist of it. But now we've got a piece of evidence that contradicts what you've told us. What do you mean? On the same day, at 6.30 a.m. in Yokohama, a student teacher named Hiro Mikoshiba was sent off to work by his mother. But he was soon abducted near his home, only to be found dead much later in Ijinsho. Is that...? According to the video, the Harasan here is the murderer. What? He killed Mikoshiba in cold blood to get vengeance for his bullied son. His kid was about to graduate high school, but instead, he took his own life. So Ahara took it upon himself to punish his son's torment. That's awful. But now we come back to the issue here. If this footage is authentic, then Ahara-san couldn't have been your assailant. The victim's estimated time of death and Ahara-san's time of arrival in Tokyo simply don't allow for it. It's just not possible for someone to make that commute. <gasps> but there's the flip side. If Ahara-san was in fact your assailant, it would mean this murder footage is a fabrication. I don't know what you expect me to say after all this. Right? Now you know how we're feeling. That's why we came to see if you had any leads for us. So that's what this is about. After hearing your story, I have no doubt you endured a lot that day. Which would obviously mean that murder video was faked. Then... who shared that video? And why? Wish I knew. Based on the quality, something this convincing would need quite a budget. Whether it's CG on top of real murder footage, or just a rock-solid AI creation, no way it was cheap. So why go through all this effort to fake a murder? Who would benefit from it? But I have to say, I feel much closer to piecing this puzzle together with your help today. Thank you very much for your time. Yes. And rest assured, this will be the last time you see us. Our apologies for the unexpected visit. And for dredging up unpleasant memories. It's fine. So long as this is really the end of it all.
I'd like to report Mamiya-san's account to the rest of the team. Can I count on you to be there? Sure. Let me give Kaito-san a heads up. All right. Then I'll see you there. Yo, it's me. Hey, I just got back to Comrade Joe. All good here, man. I mean, they did run their mouths about step. Anyway, I'm heading to Genda, so sorry, son. You're the boss. 